I'd like to share an idea with... Sorry, just a minute. I'd like to share an idea with you, and this idea, this concept, is something that I call Please Practice Silence. Uh, silence is not something that's typically built into our days, so what I try to do is to build some silence into my day and into my students' day. In fact, think about it, when you wake up, probably your alarm clock wakes you up, uh, and then a lot of people will turn on news or turn on some music to kind of get them going. Uh, pretty cool. But that's a sound source that's that's coming at us. We get in the car, and again, maybe some news, uh, some, some music. Uh, and then we get to work and somebody's telling us this, and for me, I've got kids uh, here and kids there, kids in the hallway. Um, so there's, there's just not a lot of uh, silence built into our day. In fact, I bet you if I pause for a second, you can probably hear uh, the rumbling of the air conditioning unit in the background. Listen to this. Yeah, there's just not a lot of silence built into our day. So what I find is, please practice silence is a great way for me to uh, set a great educational atmosphere uh, in, in, our, uh, in our classrooms and in specifically in my music room. It's a great way to set the, the, uh, the learning climate. Uh, and I do this at the very beginning of, of every class. Basically, it's, uh, it's just nose breathing, slow nose breathing, and it literally slows our heart rate and it helps to focus our mind. And a lot of times for that student that's having trouble settling down, just this, this focused breathing can be uh, very helpful. Now, I would love to say that uh, Police Practice Silence has solved all the problems in the music room. <laughs> but it ain't so. <laughs> but I do believe that it helps. It helps me to reset at the beginning of each music class, uh, and then it also helps my students to kind of get into that, uh, that learning zone, uh, so to speak, by slowing their heart rate and, uh, and, and uh, calming their minds as well. Um, so I've got a short video that I shared out with my uh, colleagues at Jefferson Avenue Elementary School uh, and it's going to follow uh, after I stop blabbering on here. It will follow. But I hope that Please Practice Silence is something that can find its way into your life and I hope that it will be uh, uh, impactful in a positive way with your students' lives and with your teaching and with their learning. Practice silence. So it looks like this. Class, would you please uh, sit crisscross? Please let your hands rest comfortably in your laps. Would you please touch your lips together like this and breathe slowly through your nose? How slow can you go? And then I usually take two or three slow breaths uh, as they're breathing as well. Then I ask them to continue practicing silence while I do whatever it is that I need to do. I may be giving directions, uh, maybe practicing names, whatever it is that I'm going to be doing. So you can do that. There's also a silent way to do it, and I'll say something uh, like this. Class, check out these silent reminders. And you might remember that I said that what actually happens as we slowly breathe through our nose, not just for two or three uh, breaths, although that's helpful too, but as we stretch it out to, to, uh, to more breaths, what hap actually happens is we actually slow our heart rate and it actually helps to uh, focus our minds. So anyhow, I wanted to uh, just give you a little reminder of that and share that with you, uh, and I hope that it may help. Thanks. Lemonade.